to plant for chinchilla. Thank you. Here we are at the Gecko Lodge. It was a long drive. It was very fun. There was uh, some banana trees that we passed by. We're just outside of Kruger Park and at some point later this afternoon, we're gonna go on our safari. I guess we'll find that out when we get to reception in just a few seconds. Oh, uh, thank you. Hi. Welcome. How are you? Good, good. Yeah, you're yeah, yeah. Are you picking them up? Yes, on 12 o'clock. So lush and beautiful here. Cool! Our guide is going to be a little late because when they started the car, it would not work. So they're figuring it out. Got a little bit of a late start. Oh, here we go. We're ready. All right. Enjoy. Thank you very much. Oh, it's all good. Where are we sitting? Anywhere? You can sit anywhere because this, this is the two of you. Yeah, this is great. Oh my God. Have a road to yourself. I'm just because I just got a new vehicle, so I'm not sure if they sanitize it. So I am doing it myself. Okay, wow, look at this. I guess I'll be in the middle, is that fine? Sure, I'll take the back. Come on, Hoots. Look at this, look how big my seat is. Oh, my hair looks ridiculous. Welcome to Kruger National Park, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> According to our guide, we are right in the park. Do not wander off into the bush. And if something chases you, do not run because the only thing you will outrun is a tortoise. So I'm going to go to the loo, not going to the bush. Your hands. Thank you. Oh, yeah. yep, yep. Sorry, I'm going to be very irritated Thank you. with this. For this. No, it's not irritating at all. We no, no, no. We'd rather be safe than not. Uh, very big park. It's 2.2 .2 million hectares in total. Uh, so that's the size of a small country like Israel, for instance, huh? right? Um, if you visualize a soccer field, a soccer field is one hectare. So imagine 2.2 .2 million of those. Oh my that's how gosh. big it is. <laughs> because you're in an open vehicle, there are certain rules I'd like you to stick to for your own safety. And basically, there's no window here. Because of that, the animals can see you. So when we stop at the animal sighting, it's quite important that you stay seated and don't make too much movement or noise because they home in on you immediately. If it's something dangerous like an elephant or a lion, it can be, get you a little bit tricky from time to time. I have big expectations for giraffes too. Uh, giraffes, we do have a fight. We're in the park. This is where it starts. What you need to know about going on a game drive is that nothing happens all at once. Animals just don't pop out of the bushes. It takes time, patience, and a lot of driving to see anything. There are some people that have gone to the park for 20 years and have never seen a leopard. They're one of the hardest animals to spot, and almost immediately on our second day, that was the first animal that I got to see. But more on that for another video. Look with your camera now. Around her eye, there's a yellow ring. Do you see that? Yeah. That's the female. The female has a black eye. The birds are giant. I've seen them as tall as my driver. Oh, he's dancing. The good thing is that we had the whole park to ourselves. The bad thing was because of that, we couldn't rely on seeing groups of cars to let us know anything was there. So we had to constantly be on the lookout. Because of the time of season, the grass was really high, which made it even more difficult. Once we got a little deeper in the park, that's when the fun began. Amazing. 
Wow. And then he joins the bachelors? Yeah, or he becomes food for a leopard or something like that. He does join the bachelors. If he stays alone, he won't make it. You can see on that bump, you see that one turned around now? There's a black M. You see that? Oh, yeah, yeah. It stands for McDonald's. They have the McDonald's of the bush. They get eaten by absolutely everything. They eat meat. The very unfortunate thing is to be born as an impala in Kruger Park. We have a lot. We have 130,000 approximately of them. Wow. And they are the most successful antelope in, on the continent. Um, you find them, and if you go to Kenya, Tanzania, you'll find, you'll find them all over. Uh, the reason that they're so successful is that they are very, very adaptable. So, you know, it's like everyone's dying of COVID and we'll get malaria. <laughs> oh my God, he's pooping and flinging it. I know, that's what I just kept saying. That's how they, that's a dominant bull. Those are two dominant bulls from two different groups. So what happens is they, they poo like this. Now the water smells of him, right? And the opponent realizes, okay, this is this is this guy's part of Oh, that's him. aggressive. Day one, success.